in this video i will explain offset function of ms excel we use offset function to get the reference of a range which is defined by number of rows and number of columns from a specific cell or range syntax for offset function is equal to offset then reference rows columns height and width we need to pass these parameters to use offset function in these parameters height and width these two parameters are optional so how can we understand offset function with example so let's check the example i have some data here from column b to column d now i want to get the value of cell b3 let me highlight this cell and using offset i want to get this value so how can i do that equal to i have written the formula equal to offset open parenthesis now i want to take reference of cell b1 so here we can see that if i want to reach this highlighted cell then i need to move one and two two rows down that means third row i need to move two more rows so column two now this value highlighted value is in same column so i don't need to move any column so i will write zero for column height and width are optional so i leave it here and close parenthesis enter this is how we can use offset function in simplest way second example is i have written day for day i have taken value as 4 i want to pick earning and expenses out of this data so how we can do that i have written a formula equal to offset where i have taken reference of cell b1 then number of rows 4 then number of columns 1 why because from day to earning we need to move one column here i have used height and width as 1 and 1 that means i want to get the value of one cell only the same i have done for expense i have used equal to offset then i have taken the reference of same cell number of rows i have given in f2 which is here then number of columns i need to move for expense i need to move one and two two columns then only one cell now if i want to pick the value for friday that means from b1 i need to move 1 2 3 4 5 6 so for friday earning is 360 and expenses are also 360 so let me change it i want to make it 450 so i will write 6 here press enter earning is 360 and expenses are 450 we can cross check this one more example i can share if i want to sum all the earning with the reference of c1 cell so how can i do that i will write a formula equal to sum open parenthesis then i will give reference to c1 then i will write offset and in offset i will write c1 then number of rows i need to move to reach this cell is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so i will write 7 and in column let me correct seven in column i don't need to move so i will write zero 
now I can close parenthesis and enter 2760 is sum of this range we can cross check here that sum is 2760 so this is how we can use offset function in MS Excel thank you for watching this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you